If you've ever tried to print text to the screen, you may have noticed that not every character works. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get any character to show up and also show you some cool tricks you can use with escaping characters in Java. What is up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to another video on Java for Beginners. On this channel I do a lot of easy coding tutorials, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. In the last video we learned that our code lives inside these curly braces, and that you can add notes to yourself or disable lines of code by using comments, which is just two forward slashes just like this. This is all from my previous video, so if you're interested in learning more about comments in Java, I'll have a link on the screen and also in the description to that video. Why did we learn about comments? We learned how to use comments because they can be really helpful for disabling lines of code or also just making a quick note to ourselves. We can write one line comments like this or you can make a comment on multiple lines by doing this. Now let's go revisit the code we learned on how to put text to the screen. And that was system.out.println we'll just say dog and then system.out.print without the ln for cat. Again, don't try to memorize these lines of code. I have links to the notes in the description. Just remember that print ln prints and then goes to the next line. Print just prints and stays on the current line. We said that anything we put inside these double quotes will be output to the screen. So let's try to do some special symbols. Let's start with the letters, ABC. Let's do some numbers. And then maybe on this line, we can do some special characters. Save, and then run. And let's see if all the characters showed up. We have A, B, C, one, two, three, yes, exclamation mark, at symbol, pound sign, dollar sign, good. So these symbols are treated just like any other letter or number. They behave the same. If we can print these symbols, can we print any symbol? Can we even print these double quotes? Let's try it. Okay, now since we have this red line, something's probably not right. This red X on the left helps you quickly identify what line number is going wrong. This red line shows you where the error is, but I don't really like it because even as you're typing it out, so say I wanted to print something else again, I start typing but I'm not even done and the red line still shows up. I, that's just something I don't like because I haven't even finished yet. I digress. So even though this probably won't work, let's save it and run it and see what happens. Yep, it'll say an error exists. Let's, let's proceed and see what happens. And we get some error. Don't worry about this error. We can fix it. Remember how we noticed that anything in the double quotes got put to the screen? The reason this doesn't work is because it's confused on where the quotes start and end, because there's four of them. But luckily, if we wanted to have this fish surrounded by double quotes, we can still do that. And to do it, you put a backslash before the double quote. So we'll put a backslash between where the fish starts and where the fish ends, and that should print out the double quote characters. Let's save it, run it, and now we have the double quotes printed. And the reason we have to put backslash double quote is because it lets Java know that, hey, this isn't the end of the quotes. And the backslash is called an escape character. I like to think of an escape character as escaping from the normal rules. So a normal double quote messes things up. So we can escape that mess by putting a backslash. So backslash double quote prints the character and doesn't mess up when it starts and ends. The double quote, single quote, and backslash characters are the three characters you may need to escape. So let's start over and do another example. Print to the screen, and we'll do some double quotes. Say we just want to do the character by typing that backslash. Do it again, and then we'll end it with the last double quote. And this can be kind of tricky, but just break it down. Just see, okay, we're printing one double quote, we're printing a second double quote, and then we're ending what gets output to the screen. Now let's do the backslash character. We'll print out, just like we always do, and we'll say this is a backslash. And to print a backslash, we do the same thing by escaping it. Because if we only try to do one backslash, 
it'll think that we're escaping this last double quote. So it'll think we're doing the double quote character, but that's not what we want. We just want to do the backslash. So you can fix that by doing two of them. Now save, run, and there we go. We get our double quotes and we get one backslash. And again, since this backslash is the escape character, funky things can happen when you only have one of them. So to type a backslash character, just type two at once. So now you know how to output both quotes and backslashes. Funky things can happen with both of these. So that's why we need to escape from the normal rules and type that escape character. We can also do a lot of cool tricks with escape characters in Java. You can tab and also create a new line. So let's try each of those four examples starting back at the double quotes. So we'll say um, double quote character, stinky, double quote character. And I'll just copy this line of code because I don't like retyping code. Now let's try the backslash character. Say we have a file on our desktop. Backslash character. Desktop backslash character. Funny cat fix. Let's do a tab. This is a tab. And to do a tab, you do backslash t, like that. You do a new line, you do backslash n for new line. Um, is backslash n on backslash n multiple lines. Okay, save it, run it. We see we have our double quotes. What do you mean stinky? Um, we have our backslash character for a file location. We have a tab character, and we also have multiple lines wherever these new lines were. And one, one other sneaky thing, notice how each of these new lines starts with a space. That's because we type this space new line, go to new line, but then we also have space is. So we have space is. On this one, we have space on, in this one, we have space multiple lines. So to recap, using double quotes inside of double quotes can cause problems. We can escape from those problems by using an escape character. Maybe not exactly why it's called that, but that's how I remember it. The escape character is a backslash. To type double quotes, you do backslash double quotes. To type the backslash character, you do two of them. You can also do cool things like tab and new line with them. Don't feel like you have to memorize all or even any of this because I have notes in the description. The purpose of this video was to show you how escaping characters can help you fix problems with double quotes in Java. Question of the day. Have you ever heard about escaping characters before this video? And was it on class or was it on your own? Connect with me as well as the beginner programming community down below. If you're new to programming in Java, make sure you check out the rest of the videos in this series. I'll have a link to the very first episode of Java for Beginners on the screen now and also in the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe so you'll see all my videos as soon as they come out. And if this was helpful, smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate it. Catch ya.